Right, this video is on how to estimate the area of irregular figures. Right, for this example, we're going to go through a pond example. Right, we're going to take a look at this pond that is kind of conveniently laid over this grid for us. And we're going to figure out how many you know, square feet or square miles this pond is. And in order to do that, <clears throat> we're going to utilize a couple different strategies here. The first thing I'm going to do whenever I see a question like this is go through and count how many full blocks there are. So I'm literally going to put numbers on that. I'll use a different color here. I'm going to put numbers on all of the full blocks. Every block that is completely blue. I'm going to put numbers on. takes a few seconds, but it's going to be really helpful when we start to look at the rest of the problem. 22, 3, and 4. Even though this is not exactly 100%, neither is this one, but they're pretty darn close, so we'll count them as full blocks. So, full blocks are 24. All right, next up, we need to go through and calculate partial blocks. And in order to do that, I'm going to use a little green marker here. This block right here, that block is, looks to me like it's about, I don't know, 90% of the overall block. All right, so what I'm going to try to do is go around the perimeter of the, of the pond and look for a block that when added together with 90 is going to get me 100. So I'm looking for a block that's really kind of small. This one's almost completely full. So I'm looking for a really, really small block that when you add <clears throat> together, add it together with the 90% block will give us a whole block. Right, and when we find that partnership, we'll put it over here in the partial block category. And we'll just keep a tally of these. And I'm coloring them so I don't count them twice. All right, so that one's 90. I'm going to go around the outside and look for a 10%. Uh, well, it kind of looks like this right here would work. All right, this real little sliver looks like it's about 10%. So the two green blocks, when you add them together, make a full block. Now I'm not going to write the percentages down every time. I'm just going to kind of keep it in my head. Let's go around. Uh, let's go around this this way right here. So this partial block that I'm coloring in in green. All right, that block right there is well, it's a little bit more than 50. So let's call it 60% full. I need to find a partner that will make 100. So 60 and 40. I'm looking for a 40% block. And well, it looks like this one right next to it's pretty close. So let's use this one. Oops. Let's use this one right here. That one's about 40. It might be closer to 30, but uh, those two add together to be close enough to 100%. All right, moving along the edge of the pond here, we've got a real tiny little piece you know, that's probably, again, maybe probably 10%, something like that. So I'll go around the edge of the pond looking for a block that is almost entirely full, like a 90%. Looks like this one is a pretty good candidate. And I'll color that one in. So those two blocks, when you add them together, is a full block. So I'm going over here and I'm just making nice little tally marks for myself. Moving along, we've got this block right here. All right, that block is uh, it's pretty full. It's definitely over 50. It's probably over 75. I'm going to call it 80%. So I'm going to go around and look for a 20%. 20%, uh, let's see, this one's pretty close right here. But let's see if we can find one that's okay tiny bit better. Uh, 
Um, this one looks pretty good. Let's use this one. That one's about 20%. So those two added together is a full block. All right, let's go a little faster here. This block right here looks like it's just about halfway, a little bit more probably. Let's call it 60, so I'm looking for a 40. Uh, 40 is going to be, oh, this looks pretty good. Right here, this is definitely less than half. I could tell because of the curved line. So those two are going to add together to be a full block. So every five, I'm going to just slash them. So I know that that group <clears throat> together there is a group of five. All right, moving on. This block right here, definitely bigger than 50%. I'll call it 75%. So I'm looking for a 25%. 25% would be, let's see, ah, this one's not bad, I guess. And this is estimation, right? So if we go up here, the title of this should be estimating the area of irregular figures. We're not doing an exact science here. This one right here is next. That's next in line. That looks like it's, oh, I guess, about a third. Yeah, third or 30 or 40 percent, something like that. Let's let's just go with something like that. So I'm looking for either like a like a 60 or a 65, maybe even a 70 percent full block. And it looks like this this one looks pretty good. If you were to do this problem a couple different times, you would probably get a couple different answers, but they should be really darn close. Oh, I forgot this one here. This is a real tiny little sliver. That's about 10%. So I'm looking for a 90% block. Uh, looks like this one is a pretty good candidate for that. So that's another full block. A little sliver, 5%. I'm looking for a 95 now this one's tricky because I don't really see a 95, so I've got to think to myself, all right, that's 5% around. So let's add that to this little one next to it. That's 10%, I would say. So that together, they're 15%. So I'm looking for an 85. Well, I don't even see that. So let's see here. I've got a little sliver here, that's maybe another 5, so that's that's 20%. And this one right here is not it's not 80. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be 80, but it's definitely bigger than half. I would probably say it's about 60. Maybe a little bit bigger. I'll call it 65. I'm kind of being nitpicky here, but I'm just going off what I think. All right, a lot of this is just kind of like gut feeling. So right now we have 85% of a whole block and I'm almost finished. The only one that's remaining is this right in here. I'll put that in a different color so we can see which one I'm referring to really well. All right, that is the remaining one and I would say that that is about 40%. All right, so what we're what we're left with is 40. That's the one in orange, and then this over here that was 85. So if we combine those together, that's 125. So it's one whole block. So I'll take that over here, and then 25% of another one. So that's four, and just a little 25%. So one fourth or so. Let's, let's just turn that to a decimal 0.25. All right. So now your task is pretty simple, right? What we're going to do is just combine the purple category and the green category to get the total area. It's approximately equal to. So area is approximately equal to. That's what we use that little that little squiggly equal sign. 24 plus 
So the area is approximately equal to 33.25 square miles or square units. I'm not sure what the units are here. A lot of times there'll be a key there. At the bottom of the screen it'll tell you that one block is equal to, it'll say that one block right here is equal to uh, one square mile at which point you would take these units you would replace that word units with miles or whatever it is kilometers meters whatever but um, so that's that's an example of how to estimate the area of a figure like this such as a pond